Iowa was slim pickings for commies in last night's primaries as Bernie and Alexandria backed socialists. They got mostly walloped and shut out at the polls, proving the socialists on the hunt for Red November weren't nearly as potent as rational people feared. Burn and Al crisscrossed the Midwest to stoke the passionate loins of the idealistic and unwashed. But just like in every other election, they either had second thoughts or a practical one for once. It highlights the schism within the Democratic Party between mushy Pelosi-hating centrists and oxygen-huffing statists who think people are dumb and bad, thus some dud bureaucrat has to do the thinking for you. The centrist donkeys are a slightly better alternative in a way that Ricketts is slightly better than polio, but it would be dishonest to say this is a great climate for liberty in either party. There are a few brave and consistent freedom stewards who are beholden to principle in the Constitution, but by and large, their Republican counterparts have sold out on tariffs and authoritarian populism in order to curry favor with the president. Government encroachment is now a two-party polka, as both sides have succumbed to the siren song of spending and control that is sending us straight for the rocks. Is Liberty dead? No, but she's extremely sleepy, and someone needs to poke her with a stick of individual rights every once in a while to make sure the socialists never have a night when they bat a thousand and bludgeon our economy to death. And that's the memo.